Hi everybody, Katie here from the Breeding Dogs Way Station of Northeast Indiana. And today, I bring to you, right here is Molly on the right, and on the left here is Daisy. They are two purebred, five-year-old uh, Rottweilers. Um, they were used in an Amish breeding operation to have as many puppies as possible. But now uh, the litters are getting smaller. They're not taking as easily. So they, the breeder wants to retire them to a good home. These girls, as you can see, are not shy. They are so sweet. Um, absolutely the best dogs. I just got home, so they're so excited to see me. We had to do a, a quick run to the DG, so they haven't seen me in like an hour. So now they're like, oh my God, she's home. She's home. Yes, Molly. Molly here is a leaner. She loves to lean on you and love on you. And over here taking a drink, that's Daisy again. She's a little taller than Molly, very athletic. A little bit more independent, um, but still extremely sweet. Um, very smart, very intelligent dog, highly trainable. Um, they're both, um, we both had them both out here in the Breezeway area that opens out into the backyard. And I've had no uh, potty problems. Um, they come into the interior of the house through this door and play with the other dogs. Um, they're great with all other dogs. They've not had any fights, nothing like that. Um, as far as I know, they're good with kids. I would warn against having them with really small babies, though, because as a protection breed, they hear babies cry, and sometimes it drives them nuts. I mean, so I would just warn against maybe really small kids. Plus, with as much as they jump around and stuff, they might knock over toddlers. Um, the other um, only restriction that they will have um, will be cats. Absolutely no cats. Uh, they did not grow up with cats, and they see cats as prey. So they get very excited and will try to chase cats um, and eat them if they can. So, yeah, absolutely no cats. But other than that, these guys are absolutely family ready. Um, it'll just be the normal um, $80 adoption fee. And then, of course, you must agree to get them spayed ASAP right after adoption. Um, I do check on that, and that is non-negotiable. You know, they, they must be spayed. So um, they do not have to be adopted together. Um, but if somebody wants to, that would be wonderful. Um, if you want them both, I'm going to drop the adoption fee to $120 for both of them. So it's kind of adopt one, get the second adoption half off. So you guys let me know um, if you know anyone interested. These girls are very healthy, very happy, highly trainable, um, very social. They like strangers. We've had a couple friends come over and stuff and no aggressive behavior towards strangers or anything. Oh. Oh, I got a spot. I got a spot. Oh my goodness. Good girl. I got that back leg going. But guys, yeah, these are wonderful dogs that just really deserve their own family for the rest of their life. Um, no, we're not going out that door. You gonna go potty? You can't go out there either. She's so smart. She's always watching. The cats are out there. <laughs> One of the neighbor's cats is out there. She sees it. So, yeah, no cats. <laughs> but as long as you don't have a cat, um, one of these dogs could really be a wonderful family member. Molly, you're such a snuggler. Good girl. All right, guys. Uh, PM me if interested. And please, 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 will you share this? Um, the more people just share this even to their own private page or other groups that they know, uh, the more you know, of a wide net we cast to get these girls adopted and find them home. So love you guys. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.